Yes. But now you now you you skipped over a little bit too much for me now. Yeah. I, skip, I, skip. I got to take you back to Indianapolis uh working at was it 30th 38th Street Church 38th of God? Street. Church of the Living God, CW. Church of the Living God. Let's put living in there. Yes. I remember coming down there when I would visit many times here and you had a fantastic a choir a group yes. of singers and y'all were singing everything That's i right. remember you tackled one of the songs that was hard for me to tackle by andre kraus uh, oh. uh, uh, jesus uh what was the, what was jesus what's the right lord. name jesus. jesus is lord my god with all those changes Back then, Andre was right in the head of his time. That's right, contemporary. I mean, that song is still hot to this day. Uh, yes. uh, uh, listen, some of your friends, Sandra Williams is, is hollering at you. Sandra Williams. Uh, oh, yeah, Sister uh, Sandra, from, she was in the choir. She was in the yeah, choir. Sandra, okay. Yeah, she's Martha Boyd, Martha Boyd Williamson, and um, uh, okay, and from home from hey, uh, all right, they they coming in. They coming BGP. BGP. BG is hollering at you. Okay. They coming in the comments says, But listen, you you work with the gospel music uh, of America, yes. the Indianapolis chapter, and uh, I I distinctly remember as we were talking a couple of days ago about the recording that the chapter did. You also worked with me yes. when I produced uh, Robert Robert Turner. That's and right. the Silver Hearts. That's Those right. Those record. I mean, there's some some days, and I, I I thank you to this day for uh, your hospitality. When we would come to Indianapolis, people thought I was living there because I, I was there so much. <laughs> you were there back in the day between yeah. Anderson and Indianapolis. Just, I mean, it was like home away from home. And That's um, right. uh, you had the the your your Steinway. Your Hammond organ, your sound system, right. everything downstairs. It was, it was like a recording studio down there. And we would go down there, as we mentioned, our boy, uh, he's gone on to glory, Pat Foley. Yeah. Sometimes you let us come over to your house when I was uh -huh. there. And we'd just be down there. That's right, down there forever. So we just got tired. Yeah. Just playing. What a joy, what a joy it was to uh, share those, those memories and those moments. Uh, to learn and to grasp. You also, not only did you play in with Minister Music at your, your home church, but you played for other churches, Catholic churches, and yes, and you did a whole lot of things. I don't need none of that out now. <laughs> Saint you were everywhere. Yeah, St. Rita's Catholic Church. I wanted that experience because it's it's totally different than yeah. Coach Dig, than my church, a Baptist, so I wanted that under my belt, and I stayed there for about 16 years. So that was a church. Wow! wow. To that, I, I worked with their youth um, ministry, and I stayed there about 16 years. So I was able to go there. At that time, my church we never had two, three different services in the morning. It was just the one 11 o'clock service, the main service. So I was able to go to St. Rita's at eight o'clock, seven, and it was just one hour, and I was yeah. there at nine. <laughs> Go home, change calls for church, church, and then there I was on the organ on the piano at, at Church Living God. And wow, they, they wow. were marching in every Sunday. Yeah, and 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 you work with the chapter and chapter. And I work music, with and all of those great musicians. Right. Oh, I, re, I, I remember the Mark Campbell. I back in the day. Yes. You know, and and uh, I remember Clarence Payne. Uh, yeah, Clarence. Pain and, yes. and so I mean it was it was just a joy to come down all the great singers that that we were blessed to uh to meet 